do this. Hey guys, this is Ruth from Extraordinary Farm and I hope you guys are braving the weather. Um, me and this young lady right here are going to introduce you guys to unfortunately frostbite, which I'm sure many of you are aware of. However, um, our feathered friends do have it. And as you can see, she is graciously demonstrating that she has the start of it. Unfortunately, our temps have been so cold. No matter what I do out in the barn right now, we're going to have frostbite. Um, what I can do is, is just do as much prevention as possible. Um, keep their combs lathered up, um, with my salve and be very, very diligent um, about uh, checking them. Um, I check them four or five times a day, believe it or not, with these extreme cold temps. I find that it is much easier to catch it as early as possible. Um, the early stages are very white, um, or paling of the comb. Um, and it's not just their combs, it's their toes too. They can seriously, um, Seriously, they, they, they can get it on their toes and they can lose toenails, they can lose actual limbs. Um, I've heard of people having birds that have gotten frostbite so bad that they lose their legs and become in, incapacitated and can't walk. Um, so really and all honestly, please, 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 please check your birds as often as possible. When it comes to waterfowl, no bathing absolutely no bathing during this time. I know that they need the bathing to keep their feathers in tip-top shape, but this is just too cold for them. They naturally uh, migrate south to avoid this kind of situation, so we have to intervene and prevent that. Um, so without further ado, my assistant here, who has graciously been shaking her head to show you that I've already applied um, the balm uh, to her comb, and I do it extremely generously. I mean, to the point where if it, you know, I leave chunks on here. And unfortunately, because she is not exactly um, the best assistant ever, um, I can't really let her go to kind of zoom in to show you. Um, but I'm going to attempt to, to see if she will allow me to tip her head the other way. Come on, sweetie. Can you see? There's actually chunks of bomb on here, on her comb already. And so what I do is, is I get my salve out and I take off large chunks of it like this with my knife and then I rub it between my fingers to soften it up to apply it on here. And I do it extremely generously. Um, this is because the more that you put on, the better your protection. And when you do this, a lot of people are under the assumption that you can apply it once and be done with it. You can't. You have to apply this multiple times, especially during extreme cold temps. I mean, I have about 25 birds right now that I am treating for frostbite um, and it's applied twice a day morning and night I try to get out early early in the morning um, when they're still pretty docile and easy to handle and quickly go through um, and apply it and then I wait until after dark and I unfortunately take them off the roost and apply it then as well they're far much easier to handle so I hope that you guys weather your, your cold weather very well I have seen a lot of people extremely unhappy with our current circumstances and so on in our birds. So um, stay warm, everybody.